Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. My name is Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now the pattern we're gonna be walking through tonight is a true classic. It's the Adams Dry Fly. Now if you're a new tire, this is a great one to learn. If you can tie an Adams well, you can tie almost any Mayfly imitation, any number of the Catskill style dry flies, and it's not too challenging. What you do wanna pay attention to are the proportions. Get the tail right, get the hackle right, the body length. Uh, there are some upright wings, which can be a little bit challenging, but not too difficult. So a little bit of practice, piece of cake. Now, before we get into tonight's fly, I do wanna mention, if you are a new tire, check out the, the last video I put out. It's the Smith fly. I'm giving away the Scientific Anglers Fly Tying Toolkit. So if you're new or just getting into the hobby, it's not a bad kit to start with. So check it out, watch the video, click the link in the description. But let's get into tonight's fly, the Adams. So there it is in the vise, the all-time classic, old-school Adams dry fly. Now this can be tied anywhere from a 12 down to a 22. I'm tying this on a size 14. It's a standard length dry fly hook. I'm going to lay down a base of black 8 aught thread. Now the tail on this guy, it's a mix of grizzly fibers. I'm just using a neck hackle, some grizzly and then some coachman brown. About an equal amount of each. And the length is probably a, a shank, which will end up being a little bit longer than a hook gap. So let's catch this in the back with a couple of wraps here. Check our position. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine right there. I'll secure that. And I'm gonna go ahead, these are a little bit long, so I'm gonna reach in here and snip this off. So it'll be about the two thirds point. It'll help us with our body there. So go ahead and wrap these in. Now leave your thread Oh, about the two-thirds point, so we're going to tie in our upright wings. And this is probably the only tricky part of the fly. So just take some dry fly grizzly hackle tips. You could use wet fly if you've got some small enough. They usually have the rounded. The, the rooster is a little bit pointed, and the hen would be a little bit more rounded. But lay them together with the, the dark sides together, that way it'll help you get that splayed orientation. Now get the tips pointed forward. We're going to want these to be about a body length. So change your hands. And let's create a little tie-in point right here. And then check your length. That is probably a little bit too long, so let's take a few more fibers out right there. Okay. Now there's probably a better tie-in point. I'm gonna, where my thread is hanging, and now I've got that little notch, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of wraps right there, not too tight yet, and then secure it going back. Now I haven't let go of this with my material hand. It helps if you still have a hold of it and you can reach in here and snip them. That way you might not have any rogue fibers to trim, but you might anyway. Some fibers just don't want to cooperate no matter what you do. Okay, now let's take our thread back up to where we caught that in and now we'll lift these up and put a little dam right in front of them. Check it and get them standing straight up if you can. Don't worry if they're close together. They're not splayed out like we really want. We'll do a figure eight wrap in between them. And when we're wrapping our hackle, they might get out of position a bit anyway. So don't, don't sweat this too much. Okay. See that? That's a pretty decent spread right there. I think it's supposed to be about 35 degrees, maybe 37. So take your thread back to the tail. Now let's tie in our dubbing, our body. Now the original Adams was muskrat. 
muskrat's not the easiest thing to tie with. Nowadays, most people use a, a synthetic or a, maybe a rabbit. Um, I'm going to use a super fine. And it is in an Adams Gray. This fly has become so popular, they named a color after, after the body of it. So instead of muskrat, most people are using, you know, a synthetic. So a pretty small noodle on here and try to build a taper going up if you can get it. Okay, that's a little bulbous up there at the front, but I think it'll work. I don't think the fish are gonna mind. So let's tie in our hackle now. Dry fly hackle, grizzly, and brown. I'm gonna tie in the brown first, and then the grizzly, and then I will wrap the grizzly first. So just a couple wraps behind it. Got a little bit of bare stem showing so we can start the wraps a little easier. Now take this up front, and it's a pretty, pretty fairly bushy fly, I would say, heavily hackled. Now let's do the same thing with our grizzly. Well, let's let's take this thread back behind the wings and get a couple wraps behind the wings and then a couple wraps up in front to really lock this hackle in and do the same thing trim off this stem. Now we'll take our thread up to where we're going to finish wrapping that hackle, maybe an eye length back. So take your hackle pliers, or if you've got enough of a feather and you don't need it, that's good too. Let's do a, at least a couple wraps behind it and then probably three or four in front. See, I'm pushing those wings forward, but we can compensate for that with this first wrap up front. Okay, now when you got it up there about an eye length behind, go ahead and secure it with a couple of wraps and let go of your hackle pliers. And before I snip that excess off right there, I will pull everything back and just try to get a couple of wraps right here. Now we can reach in here and snip off this excess grizzly tip. Now let's do the same thing with the brown. Just be a little bit careful. You might have to zigzag it through Try not to trap too many of the grizzly. Okay, now when you've got your brown hackled all the way up, we'll do the same thing we did with the grizzly. Just a couple of wraps to secure it. Release the hackle pliers and try to pull this back. Now it's got a lot more hackle on it, so it might be a little more challenging. But we've got it back right there and just a few wraps till we start getting trapping those fibers there. Okay. Now we can reach in here and snip off this brown. I think we've got enough room here for our whip finish. I do have a little bit of cleanup here to do. Just a couple of rogue fibers here that didn't want to cooperate. And for the most part, our hackle is sticking out perpendicular. So there you go, folks. The old school, very classic Adams dry fly. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you next time.